Alright guys, so today I'm really glad to bring you another very, very cool card trick. This is something that you don't even have to work for. Um, I know I'm posting a lot of beginner tricks, but this one isn't necessarily too beginner-ish. Um, it's just, it's, it's got a really neat effect. So, um, okay, so let's, uh, so let's uh, go ahead and start off. You take the deck of cards, you tell your spectator, you can shuffle it up, and you can get the deck a little bit of a mix-up, and at this point, what you do is you tell them, all right, I want you to go ahead, and I'm, and at this point, guys, you're going to turn your head around. You're going to close your ears so you cannot see anything that's going on, right? You tell your spectators, look, I'm going to turn my head around. Go ahead and just take, you know, just cut the deck, you know, somewhere that you want to. And then what I want you to do is count out, you know, the top number of cards that you've counted to. So take it off, cut it, and then count the packet out. And then what I want you to do is uh, just, you know, Turn me around once you guys are done. So from here, the spectator would go ahead and with your head turned, you count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four cards. Okay, so at this point, once the spectator is done counting the cards, um, they would have you turn around because, you know, as a magician, you really you want to let them know that you really don't know how many uh, cards they've counted to, right? So at this point, you know, as your back is turned or whatever, you can pick up this pile of cards and just, you know, as you turn around, you're just going to casually shuffle up the deck and take the rest of the cards. Say, okay, go ahead and give me, um, you know, all the cards you cut to and whatnot and say, look, so with my head turned, I have no idea how many cards you actually cut to, right? So I'm going to try and cut to the exact same number, okay, that you did. And at this point, you know, as a magician, you really wouldn't know how to do it. You know, you, you wouldn't know how, how thick or how deep to cut it to. All you're going to do is take the cards, pick them up, take the cards over, and say, look, you look at your spectator and say, I want you to go ahead and um, just go ahead and count, count these cards for me. So it's very, very easy. The spectators do all the work here, basically. They count one, two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 cards. So that is the trick, guys. And if you want to learn how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the uh, tutorial. All right, so here's how you guys are going to be able to do the trick. So it's very, very simple. Um, the only thing you need is you just get a joker or an extra card or even a card that you know if it's a deck that you care about obviously I have the joker here but if you just want to take any one of the cards and bend it just a little bit like this get a little crimp in the card that's actually all you need to do so take it like hot dog style and you bend the card and you stick it on the bottom of the deck and then what you what you can do from here is really give the deck a few shuffles uh, just making sure to leave their card on the bottom and that's pretty much the only setup for the trick. And at this point, you really truly do have them pick um, or have them cut the deck anywhere they like, and then they're gonna cut, or they're gonna count the cards they cut to um, from the top of the deck. So in this case, let's say we did, just to make it short and sweet, simple, we'll you know, do about this many cards. And this whole time, guys, make sure your back is turned. They can truly count to however many cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17 cards now at this point once they're counting the cards um, and, and you know they, they, they're done counting they tapped you on the shoulder you come back and what you're gonna do is actually grab the bottom deck here and it's it's a lot easier when you're in person because you can actually talk to them and say okay so so uh, all right so you cut the deck in half um, you know anywhere you wanted to and you happen to pick this number of cards and I have no idea you know how many cards you actually you know you cut to and at this point all I did was an overhand shuffle which brought this bent card to the top of this packet and you take the cards and you put them right on top of the bent card and that's it okay that's the entirety of the trick the moment you touch the sides of the deck here and you come over and you cut the cards you're gonna be able to feel on the sides of the deck where the bent card is and as you pick it up you can cut right from um, this bent card. So the whole main thing of the of the trick is that you know the spec you you have no idea what number this cards the spectators actually cut to, so you won't necessarily have the greatest idea of where to start. And what you do is you don't want the spectators to notice this bent card on top of the deck. So you say, okay, I want you to go ahead and count those cards out and tell me if those are the, if that's the same number that you cut to before. And you know, as you say that to the spectators, just give the deck over here a cut and just kind of lose that bent card in the middle. So this way. They're not, because in some in some flashes of the light here, you guys can see it, 
you can almost see um, the bending you know, of the card like that. Like right there, you can kind of see where it's bent a little bit. So just try to keep that as inconspicuous as you can. Um, I really hope you guys like this trick. It's very simple and you can do this anytime, anywhere. And um, as always guys, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.